for the, the project in Shanghai, we make a series of actually for Bulgaria of different shops, different facades. And it's always very interesting to find a local aspect as well, and an element from the essence of the brand. And we found a key and an overlapping element in the Art Deco styling. Art Deco played a whole role in the history of Shanghai. Art Deco also played a role in the history of Bulgaria. When we started working together on the, on the facades, project, we, we've been organized a sort of framework uh, based on the Condotti store in uh, Via Condotti in, uh, in Rome, where we have the portal shape and out of this collection of shapes, you could imagine many different facades. We treated the facade as a piece of jewelry that the Bulgari would make. The ambition was to create a new gate, and of course, uh, in a new, uh, innovative and sustainable way. It's a glass facade, actually, and it's really 100% recycled. It's made out of uh, pieces of bottles that are uh, with no pigments, so we use uh, green, white bottles, transparent bottles, to create a mist, to melt them, and then to create these kind of big panels that really resembles the jade features. But of course, it's a completely new technique. Associations with, with jade, and at the same time, it's completely something else. Eh? So it's made out of different types of glass, melted together, but, but in a way that you still see the different pieces. It's almost uh, like a mysterious liquid. And the cool thing as well is that it has this translucency. And then the, the depth that's in the jade is also the fact that you have uh, the material gets a certain depth when you look and the light comes through. Sustainability nowadays is a must. And the next challenges are really the circularity to make projects that are 100% circular or reusable.